Hello, I'm Dr. Joel O'Brien from Ball State University. You've already seen how Arbor Scientific Super Springing and Helical Spring can be used to investigate a variety of wave properties and characteristics, including standing waves. Arbor Scientific's new plastic durable spring wave can also be used to investigate those same wave properties and characteristics. It's also very useful for investigating vertically oriented standing waves in which a node is at the top and an anti-node at the bottom. In this video clip, I'll show you how you can use this spring to investigate that standing wave. The standing wave that I've now produced has a wavelength that's four times the length of the spring. We can measure and determine the frequency of this standing wave by using a stopwatch and timing 10 complete cycles. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This standing wave has a wavelength that's four thirds times the length of the spring. We can again determine the frequency needed to generate the standing wave by timing it for 10 cycles and dividing by that total amount of time. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The frequency of this standing wave should be three times the frequency of the standing wave that only had half of a loop formed. This standing wave has two and a half loops. Its wavelength is therefore four-fifths the length of the spring. The frequency needed to generate this standing wave pattern should be five times as great as the frequency needed to generate only one half of the loop. Again, we'll time 10 cycles, divide by the total amount of time to determine the frequency. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's also possible to generate a standing wave having three and a half loops. The frequency needed to generate this standing wave should be seven times as great as the frequency needed to generate the standing wave having only half of a loop. However, timing does become a problem. I'll now generate standing waves using a plastic toy spring. one half of a loop. One and a half loops. Two and a half loops. Although the frequencies you time and calculate for this spring should be different from the frequencies calculated using the other spring, the ratios of those frequencies should still be the same. I hope you found this video useful and informative. Don't forget to visit arborside.com to download information related to this activity and many other cool activities you can do with your students.